Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some new pack code to look at today relating to team of the season because I think some of this pack code that we saw added yesterday on Twitter and some of the leaks that we saw is giving us some insight on what promo might be after foot captains but yet before team of the season. Basically, what kind of content we're going to get starting this Friday into next week. I think it's going to be very similar to one thing that we saw right before team of the year, kind of like that team of the year warm up series promo where they try to get us to save up a bunch of packs that they will release through SBCs and objectives. I want to take a look at that. I also want to take a look at yesterday's content, Gabriel Paulista and the Canala showdown, which by the way, this dynamic image is top five in the game for me. Uh, that with the microphone, that's just sick. Uh, that's super duper dope. It's unfortunately the card's not that insane. Maybe with an upgrade, it'd be good. Canales though looks pretty solid. Uh, we'll talk about that and the rest of the market movements from the game yesterday and what to expect today on Wednesday with a brand new team of the week coming out, which is supposed to fe feature, it is leaked to feature Cristiano Ronaldo. So a ones to watch upgrade, a couple of uh, headliner upgrades also leaked for today on Wednesday with a new team of the week. And we'll talk about potential content that we could see, including big boy icon moments, SBC, We'll talk, talk about Vieira from yesterday as well. So if you're excited for team this season, of course, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's look at this pack code, right? This was information released yesterday, so it's not really super duper new. These packs were added to the code yesterday, right before the content drop on Tuesday. And again, this just in the moment of seeing this earlier yesterday on stream really just brought me back to that team of the year warm up series promo because a lot of these packs to me, seem like they're either going to be released during team of the season or right before team of the season so that we can stack them up, save them and hold on to them and then open them when team of the season actually comes out. Let's go over these packs, right? We have a five times 83 plus rated rare players pack, which contains five gold rares from either Premier League, League One, Serie A, Bundesliga and La Liga rated 83 or higher. Now this to me does not seem like a league specific pack. It's just top five league, five gold rare players, and they're all 83 and above. That's a pretty dope pack. Again, it seems very, very similar to that team of the year warm-up stuff that we had earlier. Then we have some other interesting packs in here. And 81 times 11, 11 gold rare players from La Liga, from Premier League. And if we go to the second page, you'll see also Bundesliga and Serie A for the 81 times 11 pack. And then we have a 75 times 15 pack for League One. You're like, Nate, why did they not do an 81 times 11? Well, I think they didn't do that for League One because there's so few League One rares on this game. Um, of all the top five leagues, League One has the least amount of gold rares. And if they did an 81 plus, that'd be like the chances of you packing a like Half of that pack being team of the season cards from an 81 plus would be incredibly high. So I think they had to drop the rating, but they did put in more players. So that pack's going to be very interesting um, as well. But I, I really think these are going to be packs that your EA is going to release this next week and that we're going to kind of have to save up. Then the very last pack was a five times 85 plus rare players pack. Again, five 85 rated players from the top five leagues. So why does this get me thinking about packs that we're going to have to save, right? Also, we have a double 80 plus pack uh, from the top five leagues as well, right? All of this content is related around leagues. And if you think back to that team of the year warm up series promo, which was this loading screen right here. And then these are some of the SBCs that we had. We had an 83 plus attacker upgrade. 83 plus midfielder, 83 plus defender. You guys remember all of those, right? The 80, there was like an 81 times three. There's an 83 times three. There's an 85 times three. All that promo was, was EA putting out SBCs to drain coins off of the market and to get us to stack up packs. Everybody loves to stack up packs before a huge promo, right? What would be different about doing this sort of thing with these sort of packs right before team of the season than that was before team of the year? So I mean, yes, of course, some of these packs might drop during the actual team of the season promo themselves. Uh, maybe they'll release them before and during the specific week that a, a certain league is released during TOTS. Like if you take a look back to last year and we looked at this in last night's video, there was an 85 plus times five upgrade that was out during La Liga TOTS last year. So I would not be surprised if maybe like the eight, the 83 plus times five or the 80 plus times two or the you know 85 plus times five, I would not be surprised if that's a recurring SBC that we would see during all of the weeks of team of the season. Um, but I also think it would be one that we would see before 
team of the season as well. And I think that if EA is adding these packs into the code right this week, then that even pushes the um, agenda more for me that it's going to be more related towards a pre team of the season type of content uh, type of vibe like that, and not so much during team of the season. Um, but that's just kind of me thinking through a lot of things. Again, I don't know if we'll see a warm up series or like a team of the season warm up series uh, loading screen today. They released one of these loading screens before team of the year on Thursday earlier this year. So either today on Wednesday at the earliest or tomorrow on Thursday, we'll probably get some more information about what this promo is going to be. And we had a lot of other content during that warm-up series promo. But again, the main aspect that we're starting to think about, and we'll wait to talk more about it until we see more confirmation on what content and what our promo this weekend might actually look like. But with that pack code being added, that of course gets us thinking a lot about a warm-up series promo kind of like that. Now, also there's a few other leaks and, and kind of keeping along the same thought train uh, with like a warm-up series promo with a lot of SBCs. Um, last time we had the, the team of the year warm-up series, there's a lot of flashback SBCs. Now, since we've had the end of an era Defoe that has been released, and we have a couple other end of an eras that have been leaked recently, Akinfeno and Aguero, we had a new leak yesterday for Musa Dembele, the former Tottenham Hotspur player, um, which actually this card could be really, really meta in game in my opinion. I know it would be really hard to link, but EA would probably make this very cheap and they would give him a crazy stat boost. These are predicted stats, by the way, but this would be a fun card to use 100%. Really high dribbling. He's got four-star skills. He probably deserves five-star, if we're being honest, for how he actually played in real life, in my opinion. Of course, being a Spurs fan once again, but it, could there be some sort of like end of an era twist to this promo? We've had Akinfenawa and Aguero leaked, and now Dembele. You know, maybe they'll be releasing some end of an era SBCs throughout this next week before a team of the season as well. Because again, if you think about it, right, with all of these pack code, all of these SBCs that are being leaked, and even the content that we're having right now, it is all centered around draining coins from people's clubs before a team of the season. So that's just kind of one thing that we're thinking about. We'll see if we have any more leaks, any more content that looks like it might be dropping that would suggest that that could be the way that this direction uh, is going on the game. Now, speaking of SBC fodder and coin drain, let's talk about the market right now. Yesterday, the biggest news, of course, was the Patty Vieira SBC. Now, we finally got one of the big boy moments. I mean, Thierry Henry is a pretty big boy moments SBC, right? His card was like 2 million coins. The SBC is 1.5 mil. It's a W. Vieira was released yesterday. It's about 1.7 to 1.8 mil to get that Vieira SBC done which is the exact same price as this card on the market. So you're like, Nate, why is this good value? Why is this a deal? Well, let me tell you why. Personally, I think that Vieira being 1.7 mil on the market is really, really cheap. I know icons are not as hyped this year, but this Vieira was literally 2.2 million coins before the leak of his SBC came out. So before his price started dropping because of the leaks, he was 2.2 mil, and now he's down to 1.7 the SBC comes out at 1.7 to 1.8. And again, since we have the 81 plus player pick, since we have all of these packs that people are going to be opening in the next couple of weeks, especially if you can wait two weeks and start crafting during team of the season, you know, even with player picks that are out right now, if you're going to try and craft that way, you're going to be able to get Vieira done for a lot cheaper than 1.7 million coins, unless you just went out and bought all the fodder off the market to get him done right away. So that's why I think the Vieira SBC is a W. Now, speaking of more of those icon moments SBC leaks today on Wednesday, we might have another one. We honestly could have another one. Foot Sheriff says here with the Vieira SBC, I expect to see Cantona and Maldini in the next days. Now notice he's leaving out a couple other cards that have been leaked. Beckham was leaked at the very beginning of this whole thing, still has not been dropped. And Zidane has also been leaked. But if again, if you count down, we only have two more days of the foot captain's promo and two more days we would expect of daily icon moments SBC. So who's it going to be between those four cards that we have leaked? Who's it going to be for these last two days? Is it going to be Cantona, Maldini, uh, Zidane, or Beckham? And as long as we get two of those three big boy, like, you know, of the big four that I mentioned there, Cantona, Maldini, or Zidane, I think that would be awesome. And I would really, really love to see how they would price those SBCs. That's just something to consider as we kind of talk about market and, and SBC fodder and content today on Wednesday. Another big time Icon Moments player SBC or two of them could be coming still as a part of the end of the foot captain's promo this week. So that's just kind of one thing to keep in mind. 
as we're getting close to the end again of this promo. Now, speaking of the market right now as well, it's it's all about the low tier fodder. If you guys have invested in SBC fodder, the low tier is what's doing the best, right? There's no there's no denying that. The 85 plus player pick that was dropped yesterday, of course, um, it's a bit of an expensive gamble. Technically, if you look at it, I don't think this is a really worth it gamble, but so many people were packing foot captains out of this yesterday. Uh, it does cost about 60K, so you need a pretty high rated car to make your money back, or you have to pack a foot captain inside them. Uh, but a lot of people were doing that yesterday. 84s are up. And today, again, on Wednesday, you're going to have the 86 plus double upgrade SBC once more, it's going to be repeatable as it comes back again today. You can see the timer on the refresh comes back today on Wednesday. So that's one thing to watch out for. So probably some more coin drain. And also, we haven't seen a campaign bag player pick this week. And like we mentioned last week, we had a campaign bag player pick that included cards from Foot Captain Team 1. So you would, I don't know if you would say hope, but we would assume... Uh, that they could potentially do that again this week, but instead of have foot captains from team one, they would do foot captains from team two. So we will have to see what EA Sports goes ahead and, and does with that today on Wednesday. That could be some supposed content, not leaked, nothing along those lines, just maybe more of an expectation on how, on how EA might want to run things right now on this game. But a lot of things on the rest of the market, right? Of course, fodder is up and we can take a quick look at this. If you guys have invested in fodder, um, you know, the only thing today that we might be a little bit afraid about would be lightning rounds because again, we talked about, a, a Wednesday lightning rounds do happen when they release big players in team of the week. And we have a leak today for Kimmich to be in team of the week, which would mean a headliner upgrade, but also Holland and Cristiano Ronaldo being in the team of the week this week, especially that for that Ronaldo card, it's actually three weeks in a row with a big name player, uh, Neymar, Mbappe, and now Ronaldo. Three weeks in a row of a big player in Team of the Week, like a headlining star that we most often don't have. So maybe they'll run lightning rounds today. Maybe they won't. That might hurt your fodder a little bit. But if you still have this stuff, I mean, look at the 84s, man. All 84s are about to be 5,000 coins apiece. Again, with the 86 double coming out again today, and just a small percentage chance of lightning rounds, I wouldn't be like really worried to sell this stuff off. And if you honestly think about it as well, if next week is going to be a promo built around these packs and we don't have any cards dropping in the game and no lightning rounds, fodder for next week would probably keep going up, right? That's going to be the whole point of next week if it is a promo like this. So I wouldn't be really in a hurry to sell your SBC fodder cards at the moment because I honestly think... There is a lot more upside here than downside. That's just my honest opinion on this SBC fodder um, as a lot of SBCs are going to be upcoming either today or later on this week and into next week. And that's a lot of demand and maybe not as much supply um, because there probably won't be a promo team in packs with lightning rounds. So that's kind of my stuff with fodder. Informs the same way. If you bought informs, I know a lot of you guys like Nate, I bought informs. Like I bought Darwin Nunez and he's not really going up in price that much. Just, uh, just, just hold on, right? Because list for lazies right now, and and just hold on, because at the moment we are, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for that SBC for EA to drop uh, that will rise these cards up. If we get a campaign bag player pick today, that would probably require two informs. Then you would see some informs rise up in price. But again, fodder is a safe hold in my opinion, uh, because unless EA do something super crazy, it's it really can't go up that much because there's not very much supply on the game. Now, even though there's been some coin drain, a lot of prices have been pretty stagnant too on your meta cards. And a lot of these cards are just bouncing around a lot. Uh, I bought a Yunberg at six. No way. What is the price right now? 700k. These hero captain's cards are so rare. It is ridiculous, right? I traded with a couple more Mario Gomez uh, yesterday. I bought a Yunberg for six. 100,000 coins flat. I'm going to list this guy up right now for 690. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I mean, he went down a little bit yesterday as EA tweeted out there was compensation, uh, but it didn't really impact prices that much. Um, Dempsey went down a little bit. I think Di Natale went down a little bit, but EA compensated people that packed the wrong version of the Hero Captains cards that first weekend of Hero Captains Team 1. Uh, but it really, it, yeah, like Di Natale went down like 20 or 30K. Unenberg went down a little bit after he bounced. 
Uh, Dempsey went down a slight bit, as I mentioned, but it didn't really impact the market that much. And a lot of the rest of the market was just, you know, a slight bit of movement yesterday. Like I bought Lacroix for uh, 508,000 coins. I sold them at 570 in a moment of rarity just about an hour ago. He's 550 right now. I know that some cards are still pretty low. Uh, again, we've been using this Paqueta card as such a great example for how... Um, cards have been moving. Paqueta is still like what, 460, 470. So yeah, he's still in that low range, but maybe up a tiny bit. Other cards have risen up a little bit. Other cards are still really low. You know, it's it's all just a mixed bag of prices right now on this market because the content hasn't been that insane. And some people have decided that they want to go out and buy cards because they're happy with the prices. And I understand that. But if you're buying a card at all for like an investment or for a post team of season rise, just make sure that whenever you buy the card, this week, whatever time frame you choose, just make sure it's on a down day, right? Sunday, Monday were down days. Some people bought. These cards have slightly rebounded until then. I think there's going to be more down days, and I'm going to keep reinforcing that fact with this new pack code that we have as well into this weekend. We have team of season loading screens, Premier League tots vote on Friday. There's going to be a couple more time frames where we have panic selling and down prices, down trends on the market. So just keep, again, holding out for that. But with these cards being so rare, it does create incredible opportunities to trade. Like you see me here with these cards that I've been trading with. Uh, the Foden I got yesterday at like 2010, 209 or something like that, 210. Diaz I got right after Liverpool scored at 205. I bought these at 200. He went up to like 230. I sold them too early. So there's a lot of fluctuations you can do with rare cards right now because a lot of people in these times of the game, they just sit there with their coins and they do nothing. And that makes cards even more rare when there's not as many people buying and selling. And again, look at the number of live transfers, 1.7 mil right now. That is really, really, really low. So it is an opportunity to trade with those cards on the market right now because they're rare, they fluctuate, and all of that good sort of stuff. Now let's talk about Wednesday content just a little bit more. Again, the, the leaks for Team of the Week today really mean to me that uh, that's going to be the focus of EA's content. Holland, Ronaldo, and we also have a Kimmich, right? I think Kimmich's um, card has already been going up because he's going to be getting a plus two, I believe, because he's going to get a inform today that will be 92 rated, but also Bayern have achieved the win streak of four wins in a row. So this card by the end of today might be 94 rated, which it might be if you look at his card statistically and give him a plus two stat boost. It might be the worst 94 rated card in the game. I'm not even kidding. Because 94 rated overall, but he will have no stats. He will only have two stats probably that are above 90 rated. Maybe three if the defense gets a plus four. That's pretty bad. He might not, he might not even have 80 pace either. So anyways, that's besides the point. But this card is already up. So if you're thinking about Nate, can I go buy this because it's getting upgraded? He was 80K. Now he's 116. Um, I know that for a fodder perspective, he's going to become a 94 rated card. So for fodder, that's very interesting. Um, and Lewandowski's 94 is 100K. So I would probably say even in that aspect, it's not worth the buy. If you bought into one of these, hopefully it rises up a little bit more today. Um, and then you can cash out before the upgrade happens. That, that would be what I would do right now. Take the safe money on a card like that. But also with a Cristiano Ronaldo in Team of the Week, that's going to mean that the ones to watch is going to get a cheeky upgrade. Uh, this this 92, Ronaldo has so many 92 rated cards, it's crazy, but he's going to get a 93 rated inform today. That's going to push this ones to watch to a 93 as well. Um, and I think this card, yeah, he was 500K before the weekend. He scored all those goals, of course, um, getting United that win. And he was 890, 862. Even earlier tonight, he was 849. Oh, he's 839 right now? Hold up. Hold the phone. This guy was 900K. If this is actually sitting on the market, I might have to try to snag one of these for a little bit. It'd be a risky flip, but I would sell this 100% into the hype. Is that 839 sitting there? 875. All right. I'm going to let that sit and see if I can get like a, like a bid or an undercut on that because that might be a, a risky flip today that would, that would pay out because you can see people are starting to list these you see that somebody's listing these overnight, trying to get some sales on them, trying to get the coins because this card is going to get upgraded today, but I would 100% still sell it in the hype with these cards that get upgraded. That's the best policy there. But if we get a low enough price, we might be able to flip that. So that's kind of what we're looking into for today's content on Wednesday. And again, as I mentioned, watch out for the loading screen. Um, and you know, a loading screen would probably bring some hype depending on what it says on it, what it shows. And with the pack code that we have seen in the, um, 
in the leaks today. It'll be very interesting to see and follow what the market does. But again, in general, the market is just very stagnant. I've been looking at a couple cards that are still really low. This Vinny Jr. is still really, really low. He was like 720 at his absolute lowest. That was like a really crazy low hour. Uh, 730 right there on a bid. Like, you know, that's a card at 730. I, I am uh, like, okay, that's that's way too low. And I will buy that. And I think that's a good price before team this season even to sink my coins into that card as looking back on some of his graphs. So again, just continue to watch the market, watch these cards because they do fluctuate, which makes them good for trading. But we're going to have some more panic again. We're going to have some more prices dip this weekend um, or depending on what content drops, maybe even a little bit before then. So again, just keep scouring the market, watch these prices, and you'll have great opportunities to get in on a lot of cards. And there's going to be a lot more conversations coming up this next week because as we start to see the vote for Prem Tots, for Bundesliga Tots in the next basically week, uh, today, by the way, on Wednesday, you're voting for Community Team of the Season ends. So that'll be interesting to see uh, because that stuff is going to be... Um, you know, done as well. So get your last minute votes in. I believe it closes at 6 p.m. today. That'll be the end of the Community Tots vote. So we'll see what EA goes and does with content today. On a Wednesday, we'll be live streaming it on Twitch. If you want to check that link, always down below in the description. Uh, and my pack stash is just continually growing. I don't know if you guys are doing the same. Prime Gaming packs were dropped yesterday. Um, and I think actually I'm about to get kicked off the servers because EA tweeted that they're doing some sort of random maintenance uh, today from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, UK time. So as you guys are watching this video, you might not even be able to get on FIFA. So I don't know what's up with all these uh, maintenance issues that they've been doing. It's like twice in the last two weeks. Not a fan. Um, but good luck if you're getting your last few games in for Rivals. Um, I am so ever so close to that Elite Division. Need to get it for the player picks this week just to get those elite rewards, get the better packs as well. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.